about the world transformed, this is a festival uh, which is kind of about the future of the left. Yeah. What do you think the future of the left or the Labour Party is in this country? In essence, the future of the left and the Labour Party in the UK is to answer the big questions about pensions, health, uh, social care, housing, the big domestic issues that people are concerned about. None of that can be done without winning government, but none of it can be done without a growing and productive economy. So we need to have an answer on productivity. And it's right for us to have an answer on productivity because we're the Labour Party, the Labour Movement, we represent workers. And they have as big an interest in productivity as anybody does because that's what creates the growth, that creates the wealth and the taxes that we can spend on public services. And there's a lot of talk about you, you, you know, uniting the Labour Party. Yeah. How do you think it's possible to unite the, the kind of grassroots members and activists here with the sort of more traditional Labour Party membership? Do you think, do you think that's There's possible? a clear agenda uh, for unity and that starts with accepting that MPs had the right to say they had no confidence in Jeremy Corbyn and they have the right to stay as Labour MPs for as long as they're being elected uh, in their local constituencies. And if the deselection agenda was put to one side, it would be a lot easier for it to be a battle of ideas rather than what it feels like to many Labour MPs, which is an attempt to assault uh, them in their own constituencies, deprive them of the right to their voice. Um, if the Labour Party is a broad church, it, it can't be a Labour Party in which people are able to say that Lisa Nandy is a Tory. She's not a Tory. She's never been a Tory. Uh, Tories stand against her in elections. She stands against them and beats them.